blessed afternoon to everyone. Welcome to Baptist Bible Church Santa Mesa. As we continue celebrating Mother's Day, let us all stand. Please get your hymn books and turn to hymn number 193. Hymn number 193, we will sing the song, All the Way My Savior Leads Me. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. On the first verse, ready, sing. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I have His tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divine is comfort, here by faith in Him to dwell. For I know whatever befalls me, Sing the song, I am resolved. Hymn number 50. On the first verse, ready, sing. I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world's delight. Gracious and loving Father, as we gather in your presence today, we humbly come before you with hearts filled with gratitude and reverence. We thank you, Lord, that you've allowed us to gather here for our to worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless our time together, Lord. Guide our thoughts and actions and open our hearts to receive your word. 
May your presence be felt among us as we seek to glorify you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated as we listen to the choir. God choir for that beautiful rendition. Let us all stand and turn your hymn books to hymn number 31. Hymn number 31, we will sing one of my personal favorite hymns, He Hideth My Soul, hymn number 31. On the first verse, ready, sing. Oh,
Amen. So again, it's Mother's Day and we would like uh, to recognize mothers. If you are not here this morning, can you please stand up? We have a special token of appreciation for you. If you're a mother and you were not here this morning, can you please stand up po? Para po, uh, yan, si mom, yan, again, yan, wow. Okay, your ushers, can you give them our, uh, yun po, we have a special, uh, simple token of appreciation on Mother's Day. Yan. So thank you very much po. Uh, this morning we had uh, 80, I think we have 80 mothers who came here in front. So again, thank you very much po. Okay. Mayroon pa po ba? Yun, Mother Gilbert, yung paro si ma'am. Yan, okay. So thank you mothers, thank you for your love and for uh, sacrifices to us. Okay, so maraming maraming salamat po. A uh, few reminders lang po, don't forget our Wednesday prayer meeting. Uh, yun po every uh, 7 o'clock po and you can also watch to watch us online sa ating Facebook page and then also uh, pray po natin si uh, Brother Aaron who will be undergoing operation tomorrow po morning so let's pray the, for wisdom for the doctors and for a successful operation po and uh, if you need some prayers again you can call the church anytime just email us or text us sa Facebook page at uh, if you need prayers right now as we take our offering po isulat nyo lang po sa isang pirasong papel at isasama po namin yan sa ating uh, prayer list po. Uh, at kung immediate naman po, meron tayong mga uh, group chats po sa mga mag, um, uh, malalaki, babae, sa mga nanay, tatay, ayan po. At pwede na po natin gamitin yung avenue na yan upang ipanalangin po kayo doon sa pagkakataon na kinakailangan nyo ng panalangin. At isasama po natin yan. Okay? Uh, then every Wednesday po yan ang ating prayer meeting and also this coming Saturday po yung ating uh, uh, medical ministry po. So, just pray that the Lord will use that ministry to be able to uh, reach people for the Lord as we cater to their medical needs po. And you'd like to volunteer, just drop by here in church 7 o'clock po in the morning. So, yan magsisimula po yung ating uh, uh, me medical ministry. And we appreciate all those who have volunteered using their talents in the medical field para po makapaglingkod po doon sa ministry na yan. And also, every Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays po yung ating pong visitation. Uh, if you'd like to be involved in that also, uh, you just be here in church and then you can look for Sister, uh, Brother Aljade and Sister Marian. Okay. Sige po. And then also yung mga, uh, you like to minister to our kids po, meron po tayo upcoming event for the kids. It's called DBBS with the team Time Lab. I don't know if they're going back in time, 
but uh, that will be their team. So we need some volunteers in whatever capacity you can help during the three-day uh, three period po. You can just list down your name and whatever capacity you can help, sabihin nyo lang po doon, listan nyo lang po. If you like to be a teacher, a Sunday, uh, helper, uh, pet shirt po ng mga bata, or if you like to provide something for the kids and for the workers, or if you like to lend your vehicle, if you have a vehicle, you lend it for, to be able to use the pag, pagsundo ng mga bata, that will be fine. So whatever capacity po, just write down your name if you like to volunteer on the July 4 to 6. And July 7 will be Children's Day po yan. Okay? And then, uh, good news class po, every Saturdays po, we have our extension classes. We call it the GNC, the good news class as really uh, children for the Lord. And it's an avenue so that we can be able to reach them and eventually po, maka makausap natin yung kanilang mga magulang at sila din, the whole family, will come to know the Lord and will be serving the Lord uh, and loving the Lord. Okay, so those are our uh, ating pong mga announcements. So of course, ating pong uh, pamalangin din yung ating mga ministry partners po, yung ating pong mga supported missionaries uh, local and uh, foreign and we're glad to have with us nasan si Brother Doc? Nakita ko kanina yun, Brother Doc. Ah, sa gitna. Ayan. Please kanda, Brother Doc. Ayan. Okay. Um, hindi na pa buhay abukay. Buhay abukay pa rin, ano? O iba na? Okay. Okay. Pero doon pa rin sa bataan, no? area. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's continue to pray. So, building a place there to, uh, where the church can be established po dun sa lugar na yon. Okay? So, do we have anyone visiting with us for the very first time? This is your first time to be at Baptist Bible Church. Can you please stand up po? Kung ngayon po lang kayo nakadalo sa aming bahay-sambahan, meron po ba sa ating kalagitnaan ngayon pong umagahapon na ito? Meron po ba? Meron po ba? Okay. Second time? Baka po may second time. Wala po? Okay. That's all. That's all. Please stand up. And we would like also to appreciate all our uh, brothers in the Teresa. Yeah, can you please stand up po? Maraming maraming salamat po. Let's shake hands with one another as we sing our welcome song. Please move forward po. And there are so many uh, vacant seats in front. Thank you. Now let's greet one another as we sing the welcome song. There's a welcome here. Oh, welcome here. There's a Christian. Welcome here. Hallelujah. So welcome here, oh welcome here, there's a Christian, welcome here. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another, First John 4, 7 and 8. Please remain standing as I call on the ushers for our afternoon tithes and offering. May I call on Brother Enzo to lead us in our offertory prayer? Let's bow our heads in prayer. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that you have given us. Thank you for this opportunity to give back to you, Lord. Thank you for the blessings that you have given us all throughout this month and through this week. And as we give our offering, Lord, may you bless the gift and the giver and may you use this offering to the, the spread of your gospel, Lord. May this blessing be used only to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to a special number to be rendered by Sister Grace Valenzuela.
Thank you, Sister Grace. Am I right? Is that Sister Grace? Wow, you just sang that song with grace. Uh, that is a timeless song, uh, Sumika, during the 80s. I was listening, was, well, yeah, I was listening to that song. I thought I was listening to a radio. Kalo nakikinig lang ako ng DZAS, no? Salamat, oh Dios. I, I, you really sang that song with grace. Uh, bless ako sa song. I don't know with you. Amen ba kayo? Amen. Mga young people, nabless ba kayo? Mas maganda ba yung sa Fly Me to the Moon? Ah, I love the song. Whenever we hear gospel song like that, and the Lord is praised, we thank the Lord for that. This morning, we glorify the Lord. Because the house of God was filled with people. Hindi nyo napansin kanina? Halos puno tayo kanina. Amen ba? Yeah. Ngayon din, we have a good attendance this afternoon. But uh, we thank the Lord. Thank you. I, I was preaching kaninang maga. Hindi po ako naiyak sa preaching ko. I was preaching. Na naalala ko lang talaga yung nanay ko. Talagang, pag maalala mo yung nanay, sabi sa akin, pagbaba ko kanina, ang daming galit sa akin. Nagalit sa akin, Pastor, galit kami sa iyo. Bakit? Pinaiyak mo kami, pinaalala mo yung mga nanay namin. Pag nanay talaga, no? Maalala mo, no? Ako nga lahat lumabas, pati si Pong ko lumabas, naalala mo yung nanay mo. Eh. Kasi ang nanay talaga, yung iniisnab-isnab natin, pero pag maalala mo yung kabutihan ng nanay mo, hmm, talaga. Ah. That's why Solomon, he was tested of the heart of the mother. And Solomon proved that he was able to identify the right mother. And this afternoon, we are going to talk about, you know, in the Bible, there are a lot of women in the Bible, especially in the book of Acts, how the church was being started by the apostles. There were a lot of Bible characters in the Bible that are women. But as a Baptist, we don't allow women to stand here and preach. Okay? Hindi po ako naniniwala sa pastorang babae. 
Okay, men are called to preach. Hey, Amen. And you can never deny it. There are, I mean, in this church, more women than men. Tama ba? More women than men? Well, how is that? Palagi nilang palaging marami ang babae. Where are the men? Tingnan nyo ha, patatayin ka. All women, stand up. All women, single or married. Tingnan natin ha. Oh, look at that. Kakaunti yung mga lalaki. Oh, asa na yun. Thank you very much. Please be seated. All men, tayo. Oh, ubus ang lalaki, oh. Hindi eh, ko pa alam kung tunay ng lalaki itong mga ito. Hindi ko. <laughs> Mami, ito may kalahating lalaki rito. Hindi ko alam, oh. Ay, thank you very much. God bless you. We are going to study one Bible character, Okay? And it is taken from the book of Acts. Open your Bible to the book of Acts, chapter 9. Acts, chapter 9. Again, I invite you to please stand up as we give respect and reverence to the Word of God. Acts, chapter 9, beginning verse 36 down to verse 43. In Acts, chapter 9, it says there, let's read the passage responsibly. I'm going to read verse 36, then you go with verse 37 and responsibly. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And for as much as Lida was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come them, to them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed. Look at the power of prayer. And turning him to the body said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And it was known throughout all Joppa and many believed in the Lord. May God bless the reading of His words. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Again, our Father, who is so powerful, who is so holy, we are calling upon Thee, we are asking Your grace upon us and Your mercy that endureth forever. Lord, we are thankful for giving us mothers this morning around 80 plus mothers and listen to the preaching of your word i pray that you touch their lives that you touch their hearts so that they may be a compassionate mother and be a godly mother to their kids and as we continue with our service for this afternoon thank you lord for those who came and returned to listen to the word of god and help your servant as i preach your word we are begging for your mercy that the Holy Spirit will work through us, work within us, so that we may understand what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of yours in our life. Again, we ask forgiveness from all our shortcomings that we have committed against thee. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. In the Bible, there was a woman, her name was Dorcas. Her another name was Tabitha. Tabitha is an Aramaic word. Dorcas is a Greek word. The word Dorcas means a gazelle or an antelope. You know what an antelope is? Gazelle is an animal, yon, parang, uh, parang deer. And some theologians suggested that most likely, Dorcas was probably a widow. 
Who among here are widow? Widow na kayo, mga mga one, two, three, four. Okay, mga widow na sila. Thank you very much for uh, raising your hand. Alam niyo yung mga widow natin, we should minister to them. During those times, a lot of widows in in biblical times, especially in the first 100 years when the disciples were preaching the word of God, it's because of the history of nation Israel. Men fought during the war and their husband died fighting. Tsaka mahirap ang buhay nila noon. So a lot of widows and they need to take care of the widows. And there was one and her name was Dorcas. And our topic for today is Dorcas, two lives for one Lord. Two lives for one Lord. I'm going to use the name of Dorcas. I made an acronym for this so that we will be guided because this afternoon we can learn from Dorcas. We can learn from women. And in, in inside the church, there are a lot of women being used by the Lord in the ministry. Ito ang DDBS, ang daming babae. No? Uh, a lot of women, I, I salute you, women in the ministry, women in the church. I'm not saying na hindi nagamitin ng Panginoon ng mga lalaki, but maraming mga women, even in the, in the church history, the Lord used a lot of women, and we are going, we can learn from them. Talk to the elder, talk to the pioneer, and still there are pioneers of the church. You talk to them. And you can learn from them. They, you can learn from their experience. Young people, not only if you want to become wise, not only that you listen, you talk to the elder people and you can learn from them. There is so much wisdom stored in them and you can learn from them. And this afternoon, we can learn from this woman. She had two lives. Nabigyan siya ng dalawang buhay. I want you to know, I'm going to use D-O-R-C-A-S so that you can easily remember this. But it's in the light of the Bible, though it is in acronym, but I'm going to get the context of Acts chapter 9, wherein we can learn from this particular woman in the Bible. Letter D, you can see the devotion to God by this woman. Look at in verse 36. In Acts chapter 9, verse 36, the Bible mentioned who is this woman. The Bible addressed her as a certain disciple named Tabitha. She was a disciple in Greek word matetes. She was a follower of Christ. And this woman learned about the Lord Jesus Christ. She was a believer of the resurrected Christ. I don't know if this Dorcas is one of the more than 500 that witnessed the resurrected Christ. I don't know. I did not make any research on this. But this is an early history of the church. Meaning to say, uh, the church was so young then, and the, the issue or the news about the resurrected Christ was so prevalent during that time. It was so fresh. Those people that Dorcas talked to, they were really the, the, the witnesses of the resurrected Christ. They saw the resurrected Christ. We have seen Jesus Christ. And Dorcas became a believer of Jesus Christ. And because of that, she dedicated or she devoted her life. She was an emulator of Jesus Christ. I tell you, if you have a personal relationship with the Lord and you look deeper on his this resurrected Christ and Jesus Christ became real in your life. Your devotion to him will never be the same again. Alam niyo, pag totoong nakakilala sa Panginoon, bakit nga ba? It is always the women that first receive the Lord in the family. Ang unang nasasay, babae, no? Why? But babae ang unang nasasay? Pag mag-solwin kayo, una niyo i-solwin babae. Madaling kausapin ang mga babae. Sabi lang ni, ni Lucifer, masarap kainin yan. Huwag na, baka magalit sa akin yung mga babae. Okay? Kasi kinuha niya yung fruit, binigay niya sa asawa niya, niya ang fall. Pero kasi ang babae, iba yung heart, mabilis silang maniwala. At pag sinabi nilang, oy, you can, you can follow the Lord, and ang babae, mabilis maging faithful. 
And she was, she, she is a disciple. And the Bible says, full of good works. You know, the gospel of the Lord, if you are really a changed person, it will really produce good works. I don't know the background of Dorcas, but when she knew about the Lord Jesus Christ, she became a follower, a true disciple. That's why she devoted her life to the Lord, the devotion of of this woman, she is full of good works, not only full of, of good works, she is full of alms deed. It is a work of mercy. Alms deed. Magaling siyang, mabili siyang maawa. Full of mercy. She is a very merciful woman. I remember when during our anniversary in, in Paranaque, our second year anniversary, and the, the year was... 2008. I still remember that. I invited Pastor Boyd and Mam Donna to Mam, Mam Pastor Boyd to speak in our anniversary. And after that, we ate in I think Shakey's ko sila pinakain. And while we were eating outside that restaurant, no, there were kids, poor kids, asking for arms. Anong yung ginawa ni Mam Donna? Lumabas talaga binigyan. Wow. Look at this woman, full of mercy, merciful woman, devotion to God, a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. Try to study those faithful women here. Try to study. They are a true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. Devotion to God, letter O, obedience till death. Look at in verse 37. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick. Ah, makaka-relate dito yung mga may sick. She was sick and died. Wag naman munang died. Yung mga may sick, wag kayong mamamatay. We are praying for you. Okay? But some, somehow along the way, when we are serving the Lord, there are things that we cannot control. We are going to get what? Magsik, magkasakit. By the way, when, when we received the Lord, there was no promise that we are not going to get sick anymore. Minsan magkakasakit tayo, mga babae. Mag, mag-activate yung cancer. Mag-activate yung ganito. And sometimes marami dyan mga babae. Okay? And this woman, she was sick. And the Bible tells us, because of this sickness, I believe this is the cause of her death. And she died. She died. She died serving God. Obedient unto her call. Obedient unto her duty. For Dorcas, to live is Christ and to die is gain. It is never a waste. Death, sickness did not prevent her from obeying God. And sometimes, you know, I, I don't know with you. I, I, I take off my hat for those people who are sick and still manage to go to church and worship the Lord. Yung iba ang lalakas pa sa kabayo hindi nagbo-worship sa Panginoon. Sometimes, I, I don't know, it is, this, is, this is wrong. Don't get me wrong because this is wrong. Sometimes, mag-pray ka sana, Lord, ito mga may sakit na to. Kung ako ang Diyos, bibigyan ko to ng mga sakit para magsimba eh. And sometimes, are we going to wait for that? Maganda nga bang wala tayong sakit? De- devote yourself, devote your life to the Lord. Because sometimes, we will be tested. She died serving God. Obedience till death. And I am seeing a lot of older people here. Some, last Sunday, uh, ma- Nanay Nita approached me, Pastor, please pray for me. Nangihina ako. Sige, pray tayo. And I tell you, they, their numbers, they, their years are being numbered. Nanay Nita is reality. Kumbaga sa may glass hour, nauubos na yung sand sa glass hour mo. Konti na lang. But I believe with all my heart, you are going to Give the rest of your life for the Lord Jesus Christ. You are 90, right? 
Gusto mo ba kung akong Diyos dadagdagan ko pa ng 100 yung buhay mo? Gusto mo? O natawa ka, ayaw mo na rin ng 190. Bibigyan ka ng government, 190,000. Dapat pababain na yan, 90, pwede nang bigyan ng 90,000. Pag nabigyan ka ng 90,000, mag-tights ka. Pag hindi, hindi ka bibigyan. Obedience till that, And we can learn from these people. Mami Lontok still here. Kausapin niya, maraming makukwento yan about mission. Ah, pastor, when we were in, when we were in, with Pastor Hogi, when I was 12 years old, we passed out trucks. Nanay, sabi ko lahat ng pinass out mong trucks, some of them got saved, at marami ka ng rewards sa langit. And I believe she's going to use her life the remaining years for the Lord. Obedience till death. Hey, young people, obedience till death. And we can learn from these women. Dorcas, obedience till death. Sickness is not a hindrance to serve the Lord. Kaya yung mga young people, ang lalakas nyo pa sa kabayo and you are, not, you are not using your lives for the Lord. Shame on you. Look at these people and if you're going to see in the choir, how many of them are elder already? And they're still singing in the choir. Two weeks ago, Brother Rolly and Brother James' mother died. Iba hindi nyo alam eh, kasi tagakalokan sila dati. Their mother died at the age of 88. Their mother, Nanay Javier, ang pangalan niya, she wanted to sing in the choir. The problem is that hindi na siya kaya mag-step-step. Baka mahulog siya, ma-destroy pa yung kanyang pelvic. But she wanted to sing in the choir. Age doesn't matter. She wanted to sing until such time that she had this dementia. Baka mamaya, to God be the glory, maging all hail the power. But she wanted to sing. Obedience till death. And we can learn from Dorcas, not only that he vo- he, she devoted her life, not only that he was obedient till death. Look at letter R, verse 39, the recollection of her past. The recollection of her past in verse 39, Acts chapter 9, verse 39. Then Peter arose and went with them. And when he was calm, they brought him into the upper chamber And all the widows stood by him, whipping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. They recollected the past of Dorcas, the coat and the garment which Dorcas made. Probably si Dorcas, no? Mananahi siya. Then her works, look at, listen to this. Her works speak even when she's gone. Someday, Our diaries, our closet will be opened. Someday, our footprints will be traced. Our records will be read. Our works will be evaluated. And in that, sometimes we remember a person, the records, the footprints that they left. And they are very important. I was talking to young men some, I mean, A couple of days ago, I, I was telling to them, be always careful on how you put your testimony, on how you display your testimony to others because records are very important. Why? If you're going to read the book of Esther, the reason why the Jews were not annihilated by Haman, it's because the king was not able to sleep. And I believe the Lord woke him up. And because of that, he read the chronicles of the king and he found out the records of Mordecai because Mordecai was not rewarded. And it is very important, the record. There was a recollection of her past. People spoke good of her. And what testimony are you leaving to your kids? Hey, mothers. Alam niyo, ang mother ko talaga, she's so faithful in attending services. Sunday school, morning, evening, she's so faithful. And that faithfulness impacted my life. Recollection of her past. If you want to know how good a person is, go back to his record. 
If you want to know how good that woman is, mother is, you go back to the records. There was a recollection of her past and they evaluated it and she was a good person. What testimony, what testimony you are leaving to the next generation? Not only there was a recollection of the past, in verse 39, widows were weeping. Letter C, are you following me? What is letter D for Dorcas? Remember, may exam tayo after this. Si Doc nandito, classmate ito. Alam nyo, kabatch ko yan. Mababait yung ABBC batch 2001. Ako lang hindi. Nama, na, 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 nama na lang ako sa kanya. Mabait yung classmate ko niyan. Yan yung doc na walang doctorate na dati. Dati pa ngayon may doctorate na yan. Kasi yung letter C. Letter D, Dorcas, nakakasunod kayo. What's letter D? Devotion to God. And admire, I admire mga nanay, mga devoted. Tingnan nyo, mga nanay, sila yung umpisang, di ba? Pag prayer meeting, sila nandiyan agad. Look at mga nanay. Sunday school, they're teaching kids. Mga nanay. Look at sa resurrection. Sino unang nag... When, when did Jesus Christ appear? First, He appeared to... Why the Lord appeared to a woman after He resurrected? Bakit hindi sa lalaki? Why Jesus Christ appeared to a woman? You know Why? So that the news of resurrection would be spread easily. <laughs> the joke lang. Ay, hindi nyo na kuha yung joke. Thank you na lang. Ay, natawa. Mas mabilis pag babaeng magsasabi niya, Ay, Peter, nag-resurrect si Christ. Ay, yung maniwala ni Peter. Hindi, joke lang yan. Pero ang totoo, more reliable when a woman brings the news. Ah, hindi yan marites. Totoo yan. By the way, marites. Mare, anong latest? Palitan na lang yan. Mare, anong testimony? Because letter C is contagious testimony. Contagious testimony. This widow, they were weeping. Why they were weeping? I was preaching this morning. Uh, I don't know if you, if you noticed that. I, uh, there was a time that I paused kasi gusto kong umiyak ng umiyak. It's not because I naiyak ako sa preaching. It's because I remember the goodness of my mother. Naalala ko lang nanay ko, I was preaching here, I, suddenly he, her memories flash back in my mind. And that caused me to cry. Hindi ko naiyak sa preaching, I was really moved by that. The contagious testimony of Dorcas. They were weeping. Why they were weeping? They, by the way, they refused to bury her. They called Peter. Peter, can you do something about it? Remember, the disciples, they have power to put someone. Remember Paul, Eutychus, when he was listening to Paul, he died and, and, and Paul caused him to what? To be alive again. Ang mga disciples, they have power to do that. And then when they heard about this, they called upon Peter. Because hindi pa nila nililibing. There was a contagious testimony of this woman. If she could have been alive, probably they were saying, if she could have been alive at this time, she could have done more. Because Dorcas touched us. We are blessed with her testimony. You know, when people are gone and they have touched our lives, you all you have to do is to remember everything about her or about him because somehow in your life they touched you. You are blessed by them and you are missing their presence. You are missing their mercy. And these women, they miss Dorcas' love and service, good works. And she was loved by these widows. And I tell you, if somebody is gone that uh, influence your life, you cannot help it but to cry. Pero yung mga taong hindi naman nakapag-influence sa buhay nyo, namatay lang, ano sinasabi nyo? Ay, patay na siya. You are not affected. Bakit minsan narinig nyo, yung neighbor nyo namatay? 
Hindi naman kayo umiyak. Why? Wala naman silang ginawa sa buhay nyo. But if somebody influence your life, somebody whose testimony is very contagious, you become alive, you become a faithful Christian, a faithful worker is because of someone's influence, because of someone else's influence. And when they're gone, you're going to miss them. That woman that I, I was talking to this morning, uh, Sister Ruth and my Lola, that's why I love Lola. It is my Lola that caused me to go back to the Lord. Hindi ang nanay ko. Ang nanay ko nagsawa sa akin. He surrendered. Sabi ng, Lana, nanay ko cannot do about it. Hindi na ako kayang pabaligin na nanay, nanay ko. I was a backslider for three years. Three years. Yung nanay ko, wala na, iniyakan na ako. But my Lola, abuela, sabi niya, Apo, go back to the Lord. If you're not going to go back to the Lord, all of your talents will be taken by Him. And that time I was failing in some of my subjects. And I realized that I have to go back to the Lord. On that Wednesday night prayer meeting, it is against my will. I just went with them and, you know, punta ako ng kalookan. And the preaching of Pastor Aranda is about backsliding children. Parang ako pinatatamaan nito. And after that, the Lord moved my heart because of Lola. Nung namatay yung lola ko na yon, iyak talaga ako. Contagious testimony. You know what happened? In verse 41, Peter prayed for her. In verse, in verse 40, by the way, Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turned, turning him to the body and said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he called, he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive. Letter D, devotion to God. Letter O, obedience till death. Letter R, recollection of the past. Letter C, contagious testimony. Letter A, who can guess? About Dorcas. Letter A. Ano, Isaiah? Letter A. No. Bibigyan kita ng price. Letter A. Patrick. Mga paborito ko yan, tinatawag ko yan. Patrick, huwag kang matutulog sa akin. Ha? Ang saya-saya sa saya, natutulog ka. Hindi, joke lang. Mahal ko yan. Kapartner ko yan pag nususolwin. Patrick, letter A. Si, si Manong Reven, ang galing mo talaga. Alive again! Alive again! She was presented alive again heaven sent her soul back to the earth because of her good works dorcas was given another life she was given another opportunity and only few were given this kind of opportunity two lives heaven sent her again why why Dorcas, alive again. If you were friends of Dorcas, Mari, bumalik ka, Mari. Siguro hinakap nila si Dorcas. Ito yung mga coat mo, Dorcas. Dor Pero mo yung BFF mo na buhay uli. Why the Lord put her again, alive again? Why? Do you have an idea? You just go back to the record. Devoted to God, obedience till death, recollection of her past, contagious testimony. If you're going to get, if you're going to make friends with Dorcas, pag nadidikit ka kay Dorcas, you become alive. Why? His test, her, her testimony is alive. You know, there are Dorcas in our church. Once you are 
Once you approach them, acquainted with them, you become alive spiritually. Be very careful kapag nadal na tabi ka sa mga taong patay spiritual. Pag natikit ka, nagiging backslider ka. Be very careful. Pero pag natikit ka, nabubuhay ka. Runly, pag natikit ka ba ka, Isaiah, nabubuhay ka? Sinasabi mo lang dahil katabi mo siya. Nanay Nita, pag nadidikit ako sa inyo, niloloko mo ako palagi. Pastor, kung nagkasabay talaga tayo, pipila ka talaga sa akin, inulit mo na naman kanina. Buti na lang, hindi tayo naging magkasabay. Contagious. The Lord sent her again so that her life will be a contagious one again. No regret in serving the Lord. And Dorcas, I, alam nyo, if I don't know with you. Probably there are things, there are circumstances in your life that this is your second life. Anybody here? This is your second life. You, you just met an accident. We are praying if Brother Aaron survived the surgery tomorrow, please pray for him. I'm going to visit him tomorrow. He, she will, he will be operated at 9 o'clock a.m. Please pray for me. Please do pray. For Brother Aaron. And if he's going to survive this, this is gonna be a second life for him. Kayo may mga second life situation na kayo. What if God, if God gave you the second chance? Remember, there was a king that was given the second chance, and the Lord gave him another 15 years. Who is that king? Hezekiah. But the problem with Hezekiah, the Lord extended his life. But he did not use it for the Lord in maximum. Di ba? Naging mayabang lang siya. Pinakita niya yung mga kayamanan niya. Sayang, your life could be an overtime. You know what an overtime is? In a regular basketball, in a regular basketball, there are four quarters. If the scores are equal, then they have an overtime. And your life could be an overtime. Mamarites, your life is an overtime. I know you are suffering with cancer. And many years you are suffering with cancer. And there you have it. The grace of the Lord is very abundant in your life. And you are still here. And your life is an overtime. You could have been dead many years or many months ago. But you are still here. Another Dorcas is being extended. Mga young people, there are times in your life na sana namatay kayo, but you're still here. Neville, you know this your story? When you were just a kid, sabi ng nanay mo, kinokonvulsion ka, together with my, 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 my youngest, overtime na lang yung buhay niya, when she, he was three years old, kinokonvulsion siya for, for three days. I thought na mawawala na sa amin yan. But his life is an overtime. Every one of us, we have given the opportunity to live again. And don't waste it. The Lord extended your life because He has a purpose to influence others, to win more souls for the Lord. Just like Dorcas, oh God, thank you for sending me again and I'm going to use my life again. The same what I did in the past. Dorcas, two lives for one Lord. No regret in serving the Lord. And she found another joy, another moment to show compassion to others, another chance to serve, to minister. Dorcas, alive again! Alive again! Alam niyo, pag binag-aralan niyo ang mercy, it is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Always remember that it is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. If you are going to go, if you are given again the opportunity to go to church this coming Sunday, then the Lord has just extended your life. Pag makapagsimba kayo sa next Sunday ulit, then God gave you another one week. And isn't it wonderful that you are still alive? Kapain niyo yung puso niyo, tingnan niyo kung tumitibok pa. Sometimes I really wonder with the anatomy of human body. Our heart is beating but there is no battery 
is stored in our body. Yung cellphone nyo, pag nawala ng battery, it's low bat. There's no more signal. Oh, low bat. Pero yung katawan nyo, meron bang generator, meron bang battery sa ligod nyo that keeps your heart beating? No! Because we all know that the one who keeps our heart beating is none other than God. He controls the beating of our heart. Alive again! What a testimony! Two lives for one Lord. Kung naging pusa lang ulit tayo, you know, this is my personal testimony. If the Lord would give me, sabi ko, di ba, I, I, I went here, my everything in my internal organ, they're all clear. I have a prayer sa Panginoon, Lord, if you're going to give me another 25 years, 55 plus this 56, if you are going to give me another 25 years, it's still the same energy, the same effort that I'm going to give. Because the Lord Jesus Christ, He gave all when He was on the cross. He did not quit. And how should I quit? There are pioneers of this church. They did not quit. Dorcas! What a testimony. The reason why we keep on, the reason why we go on, because there was a Savior 2,024 years ago. He did not quit. And at the same time, there are Christians who were faithful despite problems and testings and trials. They stayed. And the Lord extended their lives. The reason why you're still alive, because God is going to use you. But when God is done with your life, He's going to take it. I still believe that. And I truly believe that the reason why you're still alive, gagamitin ka pa ng Panginoon. Pag hindi ka nagagamitin ng Panginoon, kukunin ka na niya. Nung kinuha niya si Dorcas, she's done. And since Dorcas had a good testimony, binalik niya because she's an influence. Kasi kung di yan influence, di na ibabalik ng Panginoon yan. And I thank the Lord for Dorcas in this church. I perceive, alam nyo, when I was, nung nandito ako, Santa Mesa, ang daming Dorcas. Santa Mesa, ang daming Dorcas sa church na ito. Ayaw mag-amen ng mga Dorcas. Mm, Nabibless ako. Uh, honestly, ah, magiging honest ako. Ah. Ah, sorry, sorry. Honest, honest lang ako. Ah. Una akong nabless sa mga Dorcas ng church. Hindi officers, hindi Leaders, the Dorcas. Biro mo naman pag nandito, Pastor, Yema, Pastor, yun mo, is na ni Nita, pinagtyagaan lang akong fellowship niyan, mga Dorcas. And I love talking to them. Mga, mga treasure ng church yan. Pwede na nga ilagay sa museum niya, mga yan. Di, joke lang, joke lang. Nakuha niyo ba? Alive again. Letter S. That this is I love. What I love. Still remember? Dorcas? Devotion to God. Letter O? Letter R? Letter C? Letter A? Look at letter S, verse 42. Hindi tayo aalis dyan. And it was known throughout all Joppa. Look at that. And many believed in the Lord. I love this. You know what? How good, powerful testimony of a follower of Christ. Letter S, salvation of others. Salvation of others. The reason why the Lord put her alive again for others to believe the Lord. The resurrection. That resurrection is true because someone is dead and rose again. Peter Put him to life. Put her to life again. And many believe the Lord that truly Jesus Christ is not a hoax. He is, he is the resurrection and the life. Alive again, many believe in the Lord. The Lord made this opportunity for others to believe Him. The testimony, even the life of Dorcas, her life was a testimony that souls would be led to the Lord Jesus Christ. Marami ring mga soul winners, mga mothers. Amen? Siguro kung dinalin ako, dinalan ng nanay ko, I don't know if you are recently observant 
my, my, with my prayer this morning, I still remember when we were kids, we were under a mosquito net. Sino nakaabot ng mosquito net? Wala pang electric pa nun. Maraming lamok. Gasera lang, tsaka kulambo. Yung mga bata, hindi na alam yung kulambo. Social na yan eh. AC. Miss under the mosquito net, ang nanay ko, may nanay, she prayed for us individually. Under that mosquito net, and siguro dun ako talaga na save. The Lord used my mother. Many believed in the Lord because of her testimony. Dorcas' second life was a living testimony. And this evening as I preach this word, and I'm asking the Lord, I am, I am asking, I ask for Dorcas. I ask for Dorcas. We thank the Lord for Dorcas in this church. Mga mothers, you are a Dorcas in this church. And we would like to honor you. Nanay Lontok, thank you very much for your testimony. You are really a blessing. Well, you are not perfect. Your presence is an encouragement for the younger generation that they would continue on. And you're just still here, no matter what happened in this church. How many pastors already built, I mean, preached from this pulpit and you are still there? You are a Dorcas of this church. I, I, I don't, by the way, I don't know her deeply, but she's one of the pioneers and I thank the Lord for Dorcas. Nanay Nita, Wag kang magalas sa akin, nagpapatawa lang ako, but I really respect you as an elder. You are a Dorcas of this church. Hindi pa nga kita ka-close. Wag naman ikaw mawala kung mawawala ka. Young people, I-treasure niyo ang mga matatanda. but kayo-kayo lang nag-uusap? You can learn from this Dorcas. Try to observe their faithfulness on how they meet people, on how they talk people, on how they stayed in the ministry no matter what. On how even in sickness, they manage to worship the Lord. Learn from them. Pag nawala ang Dorcas dito sa Santa Mesa, I'm sorry to tell you, I don't have power to raise them from the dead. I am not Peter. Surely, pag mamiss natin ang nanay natin na matay, that's the end of it. Hindi na natin sila makakausap. Appreciate them. Nanay, thank you for staying faithful in the Lord. Appreciate them. Dorcas, pag nawala yan, mahirap mawala ng Dorcas. Kaya ang Panginoon, the Lord sent Dorcas again. Dorcas, be an influence to them. Tell to the younger generation that it is very important to use their lives for me. Tell to the younger generation that what they are doing right now will be reminisced by the, the, by the next generation because your testimonies are being read and someday they are going to open the diaries of your life. Tell the younger generation on how to devote their lives unto the Lord. Tell to the next generation on how to obey God until the last breath of your life. Hey, Dorcas, tell to them that Jesus Christ never changes. Tell to them that Jesus Christ is still saved souls. Tell to them that it is worth to give your life to the Lord. And I thank the Lord for Dorcas. Two lives for one Lord. Let us all stand up. Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord, for giving us Dorcas in the church. And as I observe this church, I am just, I just, I've been here for one and a half month. But I have served a lot of Dorcas in this church and thank you for their lives. And we can learn from them about their faithfulness unto the Lord, about the Lord and how the Lord changed them on how the Lord 
took care of them all through these years. And we can learn from them. Christians, women, I thank the Lord for Dorcas. If you are one of the Dorcases of this church, why don't you pray, Lord, continue to use me. Come on. Why don't you come? Come on. Why don't you come? Let us pray for more Dorcas. Siguro iba nahiya na yung mga nanay. But I thank the Lord for you. If there's somebody here, you need to know the Lord Jesus Christ. You can never be faithful to the Lord. You can never put or you can never give your life to Jesus Christ unless you know Him as your Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ. Dorcas was a believer of Christ. He was a follower of Christ because one time in her life, she had just known Jesus Christ as her Lord and personal Savior. Kailangan mo si Jesus Christ. Kailangan mo makilala siya bilang Panginoon na sariling tagapaglag, tagapagligtas. Later on, sa aming mga bisita, you will be dealt with our members so that you may know how to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you for this whole day. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the good numbers who attended morning and afternoon. Thank you for the word of God. It's so powerful. Even the Bible tells us the importance of a mother. Solomon was tested. That was his first testing as a king. And he was tested on how he's going to identify the genuine heart of a true compassionate mother. And we just... We are just so grateful for our mothers, and I'm just grateful for giving me a mother whom you used for me to stay and to know the Lord, to stay in the ministry. And we thank you, Lord, for godly mothers. Thank you, Lord, for Dorcas in our church, that these young people, we can learn from these elder people, that sometimes we take them for granted, that sometimes we ignore them, not knowing that we can learn from them. All through these years, they have experienced the Lord on how the Lord protected them, on how the Lord provided their needs, and we can learn from them so that we may glorify you through their good works. And we'll, because of that, we are forever grateful. Continue to bless this church. Many souls to be won, many more, many souls to be encouraged. And thank you for giving us victories and all the glory belongs to you. Dismiss us with thine blessing and bring us back again next Sunday for another worship. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless your heart and see you on Sunday. Dorcas, two lives for one Lord. Amen. Magkamayan po kayo.